Human Anatomy, the Knee. This video illustrates one of the most used parts of the human body, the knee. One can understand the intricacies of the movements of the knee by getting familiar with the joints and the bones which form the region of the knee, and the set of complex muscles which make it so easy for humans to move their legs. The knee is one of the most important joints of our body. The knee is essential in moving the human body and also in running, walking, and jumping. The knee is a joint which is the central part of the leg, where the thigh and the lower leg join. The knee is considered to be the largest joint in the human body, with a very limited region that encloses and supports the joint, which makes it even more complicated. The knee is a mobile trochoginglimus, which is a pivotal hinge joint. The trochoginglimus permits flexion and extension, as well as a slight medial and lateral rotation. In humans, the knee supports nearly the whole weight of the human body, so the joint is vulnerable to both acute injury and the development of osteoarthritis. The knee consists of two crucial bones in the knee region, which include the femur, or the thigh bone, and tibia, also known as the shin bone. The knee is protected by the patella, also known as the kneecap. The knee joint has a cushioning support that is provided by the articular cartilage. The articular cartilage protects the ends of the thigh bone, shin bone, and the kneecap. They mitigate the direct stress on the knee joint and also act like shock absorbers between the bones and the knee. The joint is present in synovial fluid, which is inside the synovial membrane, which is called the joint capsule. The ligaments present in the knee stabilize the rotational movements of the knee, including the forward, backward, and sideways motion. However, collateral ligaments running along the sides of the knee restricts certain angular movements along the sideways of the knee. It is the anterior cruciate ligament that connects the tibia, the shin bone, to the femur, the thigh bone, and is at the center of the knee. This limits the forward and rotational movements of the tibia. The knee also has a posterior cruciate ligament, which is located just behind the anterior cruciate ligament, that limits the backward motion of the tibia. These two, the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments, together with the muscles, manage the amount of stress that is applied on the knee while walking, running, jumping, and so on. These acts in tandem with the muscles of the leg. The total range of motion of the knee is dependent upon several parameters, such as soft tissue restraints, active insufficiency, and hamstring tightness. By the way, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to our channel eLearning for the latest update on high-end 3D anatomy videos.